Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sam. I'm one half of Sam and Victor. We usually do lifestyle and travel videos, but lately I've been doing a lot of thrift hauls just because that's my jam when I'm back in Canada. Today is going to be a lighthearted one, nobody asked, but I'm going to be talking about all the fall fashion trends that I've been seeing on my Pinterest board. As a disclaimer, by no means do you have to follow anything I'm going to be saying. These are micro trends that I've just been noticing and things that I am hoping to thrift or buy in the next two months. I have eight items on my fall wish list, so let's get started. Okay, number one on my list is the parachute pant. Ever since COVID, we've been going into more relaxed fit kind of pants. So we went from, you know, the really baggy sweatpants and now for summer we've been seeing the cargo. I think for fall winter, I've been seeing a lot of cool girls wearing these parachute pants with the toggle waistband. I'm not mad about it because I love roomy pants and I like how we are shifting away from the skinny jean into wider relaxed fitting bottoms. Although I would love to thrift a pair of parachute pants, so far I've had no luck because I guess no one wants to donate a pair to my local thrift store. So I do plan on buying a pair. I know Urban Outfitters has really nice cuts of parachute pants right now, but I heard the quality kind of sucks. So I am planning on buying a pair from a small brand called Peachy Den based in the UK. I probably won't buy this until I go back to Hong Kong just because I don't want to get hit with customs here in Canada. But I love this pair of parachute pants and these are called the Mimi Bottoms. I'll put it on screen. I do like how it has a very relaxed kind of look with the toggle waistband, which is very nice and relaxed. But then you also got a bit of that cargo-esque vibe with the pocket. I think this is a great way to look on trend for the fall without having to go for overly heavy fabrics as of yet. Next item on my list is a luxury handbag by the brand Balenciaga. I don't own anything from this brand, but I have been eyeing the Le Cagole, Le Cagole bag for some time now. The last time Balenciaga was ever on my radar was when my friend got the city bag, but at that time I was really into the Alexander Wang model off-duty kind of look, and that was my last overly fussy metallic type of bag. The last few years we have been seeing a lot of the minimalist bags, you know, the puffy pillow bags from Bottega and Chanel. And I feel like this is the total opposite on the bag trend pendulum. And I know a lot of people think it looks like a bag you would get at Winners or TJ Maxx, but I don't care. I do like how overly trendy it looks, but that is also a point of contention where I'm not very sure if that's something I would buy because I don't know if I'm gonna wear it on the long run. I did thrift a bag that has that type of vibe. You know, it is that kind of shape. But what I don't like about this bag is that the strap is overly simplistic. And what I like about the Balenciaga is that I do like how that strap has a lot of studs on it. This bag has a lot of hardware. It is very over the top. It is very fussy. It is about too much of everything. But I kind of like it for what it is. I think I'll have to make a trip to Yorkdale Mall to see the Balenciaga store there to try on the sizes because there is a small size and an extra small size and I'm not very sure which size I would get if I were to buy it. As for color, I'm leaning more towards the black version of it because I do like that biker type of vibe with the hardware or pastel maybe, but I'm gonna have to try it in stores so I'll have to get back to you on that one. And if I don't go for the Balenciaga, I think there is one version by the brand by far that is very similar in that aesthetic. It is called the Mini Soho Circular Bag. This is a very early 2000s kind of aesthetic and I like how it does have the same kind of feel as the Balenciaga with the studded strap except it won't break your bank compared to the Balenciaga, of course. Next on my list is not a trend item, but what I really want to thrift is a large bag. I know we've been seeing a lot of the early 2000s and Y2K type of, you know, tiny pochette bags as of late, and I feel like I want to go kind of away from that type of um, aesthetic and get something a little bigger and more relaxed in feel. I would probably try to thrift this just because 
there's no particular bag I'm looking for, but this is something I am going to be looking for in the next month or so. Whether it comes in leather or fabric, I am gonna keep an open mind out. So it really depends on what the thrift store gods have in store for me. As you guys know, I can't get enough of these early 2000s jackets. I found this one at my thrift haul last week. This one I like because of the double zip toggle on it. And then I went to the cottage last week and we went to a thrift store in the small town and I thrifted this one. This one comes in this baby blue uh, faux suede by a brand called Point Zero. I got it for like eight bucks. I love this one because I did see a girl wear something similar to this or I thrifted something similar to hers and I would love to wear this with a pair of my non-existent parachute pants or just the cargos that I have on right now. The next thing on my list is a mini skirt. I know mini skirts are usually associated with teenagers, but I think if you style it correctly, you can make it work for every day. I'm specifically looking for a early 2000s diesel mini skirt style where it's low rise with this oversized grommet belt and a few pleats on the front. I am looking for one that is a little more on the heavyweight side just because I am very paranoid about people taking upskirt photos in Hong Kong when you're on the escalator. So I feel like if it's a thicker fabric, it's less prone to flipping up. In terms of styling, I think you can balance off a mini skirt with an oversized tee, you know, an early 2000s jacket. I think that would look really cool and then pairing it with loafer socks or knee high boots. I would ideally like to thrift this instead of buying this piece new. The last few years we've been really into sneakers, but I am ready to start branching out in my shoe collection. So the next item on my list is something you'll either love or hate, which is the Birkenstock Mules and Clogs. I've been wanting to find a sneaker alternative because right now on my roster is my Converse, my New Balance, and my Nike Dunks. And for daintier pieces such as slip dresses and skirts, I do want to find something that's a little cleaner than a sneaker. And the other day I was wearing a pair of denim and my house slippers, and I thought that kind of aesthetic looked kind of cool. So I started researching into the Birkenstock Bostons. And recently I've been watching a lot of UK YouTubers wear a pair of Birkenstock mules. They usually wear it with, you know, a pair of baggy trousers or even with a little mini skirt and socks and I thought that was so cute. However, I haven't been able to find my size in Canada so if you can let me know in the comments where I can buy this online without having to pay for a crazy customs fee, do let me know. Since we are talking about shoes, I would love to also buy a pair of loafers. I know the loafer trend has been around for a few years since Prada came out with their edition of it, but I would love to find a pair that doesn't cut into my feet. So do let me know if you also know a place where I can find really comfy loafers. I do think the loafer trend is perfect for fall because you can wear it with really long socks and skirts, and I think that's a really cute preppy look. Next item on my list is another early 2000s trend, which is sleeves or pairs of sleeves. If you saw one of my Hong Kong diaries, I did buy a pair of sleeves from a brand called Simonette in Miami. I do like wearing this, especially with my tank tops. And if you're looking to extend the cost per wear of any tank top that you have, I highly recommend you to buy a pair of sleeves that can act as almost like a thin sweater. The pair I have from Simonette is a heavier gauge type of knit. So I am looking for one maybe from an Etsy seller that is crocheted and maybe in a fun color. Recently on Pinterest, I've been seeing a lot of sleeves, especially with cargo pants and a tank top. And I think that's a great way to transition from summer to fall without having to go for a whole new wardrobe. Another item on my list is a cargo maxi skirt or any type of tube jersey skirt in general. In the summer, we've seen a lot of girls wear, you know, the tube tops with the jersey skirts that is very early 2000s. And I feel like that trend is gonna go into the fall as well. I think the cargo skirt is a great transition piece from summer to fall or any jersey skirt for that matter. And I think it would look really cute with the baby tee and a tank top. And then for the fall, you can add a pair of sleeves or an oversized early 2000s jacket. And then for shoes, do like loafers and a pair of socks. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this fall wish list trend video. Again, you don't have to follow anything I say. I thought this would just be fun to talk about, especially if I want to manifest it through thrifting. Let me know what is on your fall wish list. I would love to know in the comments below. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.